Back in January, I had a chance to sit down and play some Neopets for the first time in over a decade. Do you remember Neopets? Known for cute characters, being a cornerstone of the mid-2000s internet, having ads absolutely everywhere for a hot minute, a gambling scandal, and overall just being something that I found quite fun back in middle school. Between the Pokemon-esque character designs, the customization involved, and the admittedly pretty fun Flash-based minigames, Neopets was something that, for all the issues I know about now, was really and truly a ton of fun. So I figured, why not sit down with a friend and play some Neopets in 2022? You know, let's really recreate that after-school experience. Grab some snacks, order a pizza, and forget about trivial bits of adult life, such as losing an SD card for 8 months. And since along with this channel I'm a member of the Speedrun Podcast, I knew just the friend to invite over. Oh, and I'm Jazzy. Hello and welcome to Stuff We Play, home of everything weird and retro. I am Jamie. I am Jazzy and this is not Speedrun. Yes, we exist in real life. In real life. This is in a green screen. Oh, yeah, whoa, we're check here. that out. Special Hi. effects, not... Look at this. We are not the same person. The comment what... section thinks that we are the same person. Are you eating those butter cookies? Yes. <laughs> Xander's here too. In the background. Oh, thank you, Dad. Thank you. Oh. Fuck yeah. Beautiful. So... Uh, so Neopets is a game that I remember from when I was in middle school, and I thought it died while I was still in middle school. You okay? Oh, it feels great. For reference, your middle school is my high school, because yes. you, you are a Zoomer. And I am wearing trip pants, which means I'm a millennial. I wore my trip pants! Happy Christmas! So what's the deal with Neopets? Well, as far as development, that happened all the way back in the 90s. The team of Adam Powell and Donna Williams launched this virtual pet website in 1999 as a way to simply keep bored university students entertained and to hopefully bring some extra cash from some basic banner ads. Neopets ended up being a smash hit, and the growth went from massive to explosive in 2001 when a group of investors led by controversial Scientologist Doug Doring bought a controlling stake in the company. And then in 2005, Nickelodeon bought it. So uh, I guess that controversy didn't last long. And clearly the site had some sort of appeal since Nick dropped 160 million US dollars on it. Jazzy and I mostly experienced this one during the Nickelodeon era. For me specifically, probably around from 2008 to 2010. I think this is when most folks I know played around with the site. And as my memory's a little fuzzy, it could potentially have been a little earlier than that or a tiny bit later. Oh, well we're already off to a very good start. My MacBook has done my favorite thing that older MacBooks tend to oh, do. Oh, it just locked up. Just you, locked up. You love to see it. Dear MacBook, are we going to have a problem? We have an assortment of snacks that we would eat while we were, and we're also at the kitchen table, because uh, we are recreating what we would, how we would play Neopets after coming home from school. So we have some goldfish, but not by Kellogg's, because don't cross the, pi the picket line. I can talk. We have some amazing sewing tin cookies. Uh, we have... Uh, strawberry lemonade um, with a little bit more fun. We have Aldi usual. pizza. We have Aldi pizza back there, which gonna get a, a big old sloppy slice. We have our screen recorders going. We have our primary camera. We have not even made our accounts yet. No. Uh, so we're going to make that happen. Babe, can I pre order a new plush? Record entire Did screen. What? I'm on the new pet site. It says they have new plushes. Can I pre-order? No. What was my first job? I was a janitor. Same. Yeah. I, I was a delivery girl. Ooh. What was my dream job as a kid? Actually, we're we're out loud talking about our security questions. Maybe we shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. we're on the screen. We are here. We are. Okay, where's uh, Loop? I'm going to be the Elefante because elephants rock. I named it after me. Awesome name is available! Uh, so, what, what's the thing besides nostalgia? If my Neopet lives in the wilderness, can it be attacked by other Neopets? In 2014, Neopets was sold to Jumpstart, who you may best know for their edutainment titles that they put out throughout the 90s and early aughts. As for the modern Neopets site, while I guess it's mostly working, Jumpstart was bought by a Chinese company called NetDragon 2017, and they're currently the ones who maintain the site, though it's more so a curiosity nowadays than the juggernaut of the internet it once was. You know, like a relic from a past era of the internet that somehow hasn't had life support unplugged. Also, holy shit, Scott the Woz. Also, holy shit, Scott the Woz. 
Have they changed anything how this works? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. I'm learning this with you in real time, and I thought it would make great content. <laughs> well, the good news is that, like me, my pet likes to live in the city and enjoys pestering others. I, I like living by the sea and reading and learning. How do I greet others? Act very sweetly. Mm hmm. Me too. Insult from afar. I'm gonna try and make friends. Uh, stats. Yeah, those those are stats. Uh, I'm I'm feeling stat line B, because uh, high strength. You can't get attacked back if they're dead. Yes, I would like to take the tutorial. Yes. Oh, oh, this layout is what I'm familiar with. Not secure. Ooh. You don't say. I uh, I fucking bet. When we dove in, some bits still required the use of Flash, which has not been a thing on the internet since early 2021. Now that, that's unfortunate. Back in the day, Neopets were everywhere. It was like Tamagotchi for a new era. There are McDonald's toys, console games, how you can get your Neopet a pet of their own, called a pet pet. Alright kids, listen up. Come up on my lap. Story time. Neopets is a virtual pet game a la Tamagotchi, but you play it in your web browser. If you've heard of Flight Rising, which is effectively the same thing but with dragons, it came from Neopets. So you log into your account from any computer, i.e. the computer lab at school, and um, you can interact with your pets and play mini games with them and earn coins. And it's very Club Penguin adjacent, but everything is done on individual web pages instead of one cohesive flash world like Club Penguin. Webkins. Is, is the page just not loading for you either? It is dead. Um. <laughs> There's a... <laughs> what? <laughs> Flash is dead? <laughs> Don't remind me. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to log in and I'm activating my account. Intelligence average. I feel sad about that. No, you know, I'm going to skip the tutorial. All right, so how how you doing, buddy? Uh-huh. Yeah, good to know. I'm, I'm about there. Also, uh, Jazzy's playing this with an ad blocker. I am not, so I can <laughs> get the legit experience. <laughs> I was uh, choked on my pizza. Oh my god. I was like, I was like, I want to see if it's as bad as I remember, and, uh... Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, you do remember how they would put pop-ups in the uh, minigames, right? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Absolutely. As long as they don't try to sell me any fucking Neopets NFTs, we're fine. Oh god, don't even invoke that. Oh, uh, that's just <laughs> Your fucking fork just! Here you go, kiddo. Thanks, Dad. Alright, I want to play some mini games. What should I play first? I'm so depressed right now. <laughs> Alright, so we have 14 mini games. I see Neopian Adventure Generator, and I think that that sounds really promising. Okay. Also, Rink Runner is absolutely what I played back in the day, I think. This brings me big, low, random 2011 vibes. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, the first thing you need to do is title your adventure. Okay. Uh, what, what am I... I'm gonna call it... Out to milk? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us have daddy issues, okay? I'm gonna call mine daddy issues. <laughs> in all caps. Oh. It's gonna be a science fiction story. And... The color scheme is going to be... Oh, wow, there's so many. This is my adventure. It's called Out for Milk. It's oh going to take God. place... It's going to take place at... Uh, yeah, it's going to take place in the Endless Plains. Sounds kind of like a fun place. Okay, okay. You know, I, I, I like Hades. It's good. Okay. Uh, category funny, dramatic. Uh, you know what? It's going to be It's going to be a role play. Hot. All right, what's your background color? All right, background color, we're definitely... You know, oh, 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 fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. corn. I missed her that as cauliflower blue instead of cornflower blue, and I was so confused. If your cauliflower is blue, I'd see a doctor. So I'm thinking a lot about my story that I want to write. And, you know, I have a degree in nonfiction writing, so why not tell a true story? Do you really? Yeah. Why did I not know that? So it was a dark and stormy night. It was a dark and stormy night. And Danny DeVito was angry. <laughs> I bet. I bet. We're still within the realm of nonfiction. I, I forgot to type the R, and now it's just, and Danny DeVito was angry. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
<laughs> Without an IE, it's just Angie. <laughs> it was or just Angie. on the Angie's list. <laughs> it's the darkest stormy night, and Danny DeVito was surfing Angie's list. Uh, we can add an image, so Danny DeVito. We can add images? Yeah. Oh my god. Just gonna go here. I'm gonna pause my screen recording. Your, your screen is way more entertaining than mine right now. <laughs> he was searching for someone new to clean his pool. It was full of trash. It was full of trash. Oh, your image must be from the Neopet stuff for <laughs> server. <laughs> We're gonna have to rewrite all of that. Yeah, let me edit my adventure. Oh, please save. Please save. You have no- Okay, we're doing a different game. Unlike a Tamagotchi, if you forgot your virtual buddy and let them rot online for a few years, they thankfully wouldn't die. However, there is a chance your Neopet will grow sick or get hungry, not to mention that if you don't play, you can't get more sweet stuff to dress up your Neopet, customize their home, or, you know, just have a chance to explore all the various lands of the world of Neopia. Oh, and don't forget to farm some Neo points or, you know, spend real money on some Neo cash. Yeah, the money system in Neopets is incredible and complex and powerful, and even had its own Neopets themed stock market. Not to mention that the site has some RPG elements such as quests, a community that, while not as huge as it once was, is still rather active, and most recently, we even got some Neopets NFTs. Ugh. Thanks, I hate it. So we figured out how to go to the store and add things to our inventory and we got our newbie packs and I'm trying to figure out how in the world to get to my inventory. Um, okay, I have a mashed potato with gravy, but where's my fortune cookie? I'm certain I just bought a fortune cookie. All right, to get here, what I did is I just went, I just clicked on the logo, clicked on my character. Okay. And then when it brought me to the newer looking screen after clicking details. Um... I went to customize and then inventory. So what I did was I went to details. Oh. And then. Oh. Oh. And then customize and then inventory. Ah. Oh. What will your fortune be? When open, this cookie will grant you up to three extra lab rays. That you must already have access to the lab ray in order to use this cookie. All right. You know what? I'm gonna play Rink Runner. Okay. Let's We're, play a game. Let's let's let's. Let's play a game. Oh yeah, this is absolutely one of the old games. Heck yes. This feels so wrong with a, a laptop mouse. Oh mm. wow, yeah, this is this is a little janky. The, the, this, I'll be honest, this this makes me feel things that are that are not good. Okay, do you just get the notes, or are you able to get the sharps and flats as well? I think just the notes. Okay, just the notes. I have mail from the Neopets team. Also, I have something from Trudy Surprise. Oh, yeah, that is, uh, I got something from them as well. I won't play Fashion Fever. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Oh! Slot machine. I love gambling in my kids' game. Oh my god, it's a dress-up game. I'm going to turn my recording back on right now. Can not cheer you up the terrifying bad luck bonus? Oh no! F. All the hair options for this, um, Kugra are all variations on Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can go with, like, Fred and George Weasley. I can go with. I don't even know who this one would be. This is this is this one's Guy Fieri, and then this one is like Polly D from Jersey Shore. Uh, update on playing Fairy Bubbles. Uh, oh, oh, that it, it, it don't it don't work. It, it doesn't work. It, it just, don't work. It's just straight up doesn't work. Oh, this one has instructions. It completely broke Neopets. They're like, no, 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 we'll port it. Oh, this one's a platformer. Oh, this one's this one's Chrome Dinosaur game level. So this this character I'm dressing up is starting to look more and more like Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas the more I dress them up. <laughs> oh my god. This is Hassy Bounce. Uh, instructions. I want to play Hassy Bounce. Yeah, how Hassy Bounce High to get to yummy donut fruit, which comes in lots of flavors. Did I ever tell you when I was a freshman in high school, there was a kid that tried to convince me that Call of Duty Modern Warfare was indeed a role-playing game because it had levels? And I said, can you, like, extrapolate? Is there anything else? No. It just has levels. That means it's an RPG. No! I remember 14-year-old me got so heated in the lunchroom. Why do they look so miserable? Oh my god. They are bawling. I mean, you fucked it up. Oh my god, there is an entire category. Oh, what? that's so cool. There's a Neopets speedrun category. There is. There's I a PS2 game. 
There's a PS2 game? There's a PSP game. I accidentally navigated off of the Neopets website. Oh no. Do you think without a parent's permission? Without a parent's permission. I want to see what kind of abomination you can make in Fashion Fever. I want more than one of the same type of clothing. All right, so we want black hair. Oh no! What? What? <laughs> and this is where we call it. <laughs> Please tell me that it's saved. My MacBook just froze up for the second. It did it once at the start. It did it once now. Oh, one more thing about Neopets. Apparently there was a full on Neopets TCG because you know, everything back in the mid 2000s had a TCG based on it. And for those of you who would like to go off and look into the console games, which I may have to go and play for myself sometimes, these were Neopets The Darkest Fairy for PS2, Neopets Pet Pet Adventures for the PSP, Neopets Puzzle Adventure for the Wii and DS, and Neopets Codestone Quest, which is one of those budget match 3 PC games that you used to be able to find for $5 to $10 at Walmart all the time. There was also a Neopets cartoon announced in 2020, and so far, nothing has come of that. But I guess if you want to experience Neopets in 2022, the site's still there. Should you play Neopets in 2022? Yes. It's pretty fun. I, d I will say this. As an adult with other games at my disposal, there are definitely other things I would play instead nowadays. But can I see why I liked it as a kid? As a 26-year-old yes. whose favorite game is RuneScape, I enjoyed it quite a lot. <laughs> Xander's. No, you don't have to hold yourself together. You can laugh. You, you're allowed to laugh at that. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> can I get new plush? No. So, unironically, we did not play this optimally because the last time I played it, I was... It was 2005. So, I know that there are going to be, like, 5 million diehard Neopets fans that are, like, at us right now. And I promise we're not dunking on your game. It is really fun. There's a lot and of fun to lo have. I think oh, it's really cute and charming. I need to sink my teeth into it. Where are you going with the sewing tin cookies? My mouth. Okay. Okay, I can respect that. Um, there's a lot to sink our teeth into with very limited time. So for the time we did have, we did really, really enjoy it. So on that note, do you like Neopets? Have you played Neopets? Are you still playing Neopets? Let us know down in the comment sections below, and while you're at it, subscribe to Stuff for Play for more great content like this. Is this really great? It is. It'll be nice when I'm finished editing it. That's fair. <laughs> I can respect that. I'm gonna, you know, maybe put some flourishes. Maybe some, to inform, some pizzazz, some zhuzh. Inform that, yes, there was a PS2 game. Yes, there was a PS2 game. I started with, like, pizza sauce in my face. No, you're good. No, you're good. Okay. On, on. No, you're good. Cool. So, on that note, uh, I have been Jamie. I have been Jazzy. This has not been speedrun. And this has been stuff we play. Thank you very much for watching. Stay classy, and I'll see you <laughs> next <laughs> time. <laughs> I, I'm I ending this off so moist. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> hmm?